What's up, everyone? This is Danny Segura, and I'm here alongside Ruben Alvarez, Jiu-Jitsu black belt and competitor. Ruben, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing very good. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, Ruben, so I think it's pretty clear what we're going to talk about today. Uh, social media exploded uh, recently with a video of you calling out a uh, fake black belt. Yeah. Um, and I mean, if you're in the jiu-jitsu community for the past uh, 24 hours, I mean, this video has uh, surfaced all kind of social media. So, uh, you know, you should be aware of, of what happened. Um, so, you know, when I watched the video, there was uh, a couple questions I had uh, afterwards. Uh, first of all, um, what? how did this story come about? I mean, the video starts with the guy on the floor. But, uh, you know, what was the guy's story? How did he end up in uh, your academy? Um... The guy ended up in my academy a, um, a few months ago, I think, like two months ago or last month. I'm not really sure because when I'm running classes, I'm zoning in on my students. I'm giving 100% of my focus to my students, you know, making sure that they're drilling right, make sure they're not hurting each other, you know, being on top of them. Um, the outside people that sit and watch classes, I don't really pay attention to. I'll walk up, say, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I got to go back to teaching class. And I remember him coming in because he has a lot of distinct tech tattoos on his face and, and his body um but you know you know i don't judge nobody for having tattoos i have tattoos as well you know so i shook his hand i was like hey man welcome to black house nice to meet you i'm ruben i'm the instructor if you have any questions ask me so i go back to teaching my class so on and off the guy would come every other week you know sit down and just watch classes just sit down and watch him and i'm like okay you know maybe the guy's just one of those guys that just wants to watch it until he gets comfortable and he wants to step in and then i saw him and the owner speaking portuguese together and I didn't really listen in on the conversation. I was too busy teaching. Um, and then after he leaves, the owner comes up. He goes, yo, this guy's old school. He fought the old Valachuros. You know, he's a black bunder macaco. I was like, perfect. We got we got a lot of black belts training at Black House now. Um, I don't know if, you, if you've seen from Facebook, but I have Bebe Monster yeah. from the Ultimate Fighter training there. I got a second-degree black belt named Pedro. He's under Gracie Baja. He comes by and visits, and then all the all the guys from Fight Sports come and visit me as well, and other black belts that I know, like legit black belts. So in my in my head, I'm excited. I'm like, wow, Makako. I remember him fighting Pele when I was a blue belt, you know, like watching these fights when I was a kid. So that's pretty cool that this guy is old school jiu-jitsu, you know, because, you know, everybody's on that, that throw up about all oh, the old school or the new school jiu-jitsu guys. You know, I came I came from the old school um style and but i'm young i'm only 24 but i i grew up doing jiu-jitsu since i was 15 and um so the guy's like oh i heard my back fighting valetudo uh the guy like stole my back like some blood sport type type thing happened to him and i was like oh crap you know he's like yeah i got my black belt from makako 15 years ago if you do the math it's kind of it, it falls into place because i i believe makako is a fourth degree black belt mm -hmm. you know so the guy's been a black belt for a long time, you know, so I, I could believe that, you know, and the gentleman's older, you know, um, and he comes in and he's like, yeah, I'm only going to do fundamental classes. I can't roll because uh, of my back. You know, I'm like, bro, that's perfectly understandable. You already did what you had to do for this sport. If you just want to come back and feel alive again where you're getting your black belt, that's fine. So uh, two days ago, he comes for his first fundamentals class. And the guy shows up with his gi that he bought from the academy, shows up with a brand new Venom black belt. And his black belt's tied on wrong, like completely tied on wrong. Like he never tied a, a belt in his life. And I'm like, man, this guy doesn't know how to tie a belt. You know, like what's what's going on here? And uh, I'm making excuses in my head. I'm like, maybe it's since it's a new belt, it's stiff, you know, maybe it looks like shit. I'm like, okay, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He comes on with wrestling shoes. He says his toes are bad. That's fine. I don't mind wrestling shoes on my mat because I've, I've had turf toe. You know, I've had my toes messed up where I had to wear wrestling shoes when I'm teaching class in my gi and I look I look ridiculous, but, you know, I'm wearing it, you know. Um, so I understand about injuries completely, you know. Um, so the guy comes up and he doesn't even know where to stand with my students. So, again, I'm making an excuse in my head, oh, because he's new. You know, when you're new at a new place, you feel out of place. You know, you want to you, – you just want to wait for the guy to tell you, hey, you lined up right here. Right. So I make the guy lined up right next to me, giving him the credential as a black belt would, line up next to me, let's bow, oh, start the, start the warm-up. So I make him start running. He runs. I'm like, shuffle inside. Guy doesn't know how to shuffle inside. I think it's because of the English, you know, he's Brazilian. So I was like, all right, shuffle inside. And I show him how to shuffle inside. 
shuffle outside, show them how to shuffle outside. And the owner is watching from the outside. And then one of my students who's from Brazil, Blue Belt, he's, he comes in and sits down and watches the fundamentals class waiting for his next class, which is the advanced. So everybody's shuffling. So I tell the black belt, all right, go in the corner, forward rolls. Guy does a forward roll like a brand new, brand new, not even uh, horrible forward roll, like the one of the worst I've ever seen, you know. And I was like, ah, oh, maybe because it's because of his back. So I'm I'm thinking of every excuse in the book because I do not want to have confrontation in my gym. Uh, I'm I'm I don't like confrontation. I like just you know like letting things pass on by and letting it work itself out. But I was just like, damn, dude. So I tell him do backward rolls. Guy does backward rolls over his neck, like oh uh, boom. Oh, boom. I'm like, oh, my God, bro. This guy's going to kill himself. So I, I stop. I'm like, yo, go over your shoulder. Watch out for your back, you know? Yeah. And the guy looks at me. He's like, oh, okay, okay. So I'm like, all right, guys, hip escapes. Now, I'm going to ask you this. I, I know you train jiu-jitsu. You know how to do a hip escape, right? Yeah, exactly. So if I walk oh, wait, up. You were asking me or you were asking Yeah, I'm guy. asking you. You know oh, how yeah, to yeah, do Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know course. how to do yeah. shrimping. Shrimping, yeah, yeah. shrimping. I thought that's what you were telling the guy. No, 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 I'm <laughs> Sorry. asking you. No, I'm asking right. you. Sorry, yes. Danny. I'm asking you because I was asking all my friends the the day after I was like, man, this guy has to be a fake. I got to get my facts straight before I call him out on it. Right. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But I asked all my friends who are black belts, brown belts, purple belts. I'm like, yo, if I come up to you in 30 years, will you know how to hip escape? And they're oh, like, yeah. hell yeah. That's the basics that's of jujitsu. That's what thing. You can hip escape out of anywhere. Everybody knows if you stop jujitsu for – a lot of years, you're going to still know how to hip escape. Mm-hmm. That's like my music teacher coming up to me and telling me to play the saxophone again. I might not do everything right, but I'll know how to do my scales. Right. You know, Because it was repetitively uh, driven in my head in, in high school. So I, I haven't played music in six years, but I still know how to hold an instrument right and play it. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's it's things that you, you'll never lose in life, you know. Of course. So I was like, man, this guy doesn't even know how to hip escape. He has me showing him how to hip escape. A black belt teaching another black belt how to hip escape. How bad does that look? It looks ridiculous. Terrible. You know, especially if the black belt's been a black belt longer than me. I've only been a black belt two years. This guy said you guys black belt 15 years ago. So I'm still making excuses because of his injury. You know, I'm like, his back, he's old. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he's nervous. I, I'm giving every excuse in the book. So... The owner and and the the blue belt, my blue belt Gabriel from Brazil, walk up to me and they're like, "Yo, this guy cannot be a black belt." And I'm telling him, "Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing." So I go on Facebook and I type in, since I know I have all all my jujitsu friends on Facebook, and that's the place where you can get facts real quick. I text, uh, I, I write a status. Okay, does anybody know where I can find a jujitsu tree that I can see all the black belts promoted under Makako? Uh, does anybody know Makako so I could get a hold of him and talk to him? Does anybody know black belts under Makako that, that have been with him for years, you know? Mm-hmm. And the Brazilian blue belt that I have as my student comes up. He goes, I have a friend who trains down here in Miami. He got his black belt from Makako back in the days, around probably the same time as this guy. That's so I'm that like, guy, right? Yeah, that guy. And I told him, I was like, could you message him for me? Could you ask him if he knows this guy? And the, my students like, yeah, I'll call him right now, you know. And then the owner called the guy too because the owner knows the real legit black bunder Makako as well. They're all, all same friends, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, cool, call him for me. Another one of my friends, uh, his name is Black Rob. He owns a gym in Hoboken. He's an old school Henzo Gracie black belt, really good guy. Stand up, love him. Uh, he goes, hey, I'm good friends with Makako. If you want, send me the guy's name. So I sent him the name. So as soon as I get to the bottom of this, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get all my facts straight so I can call the guy out, you know, and yesterday comes about. So yesterday I, I wasn't even supposed to teach the fundamentals class. The owner wasn't even present when I called the guy out just to state that because he was sick. So I was covering another fundamentals class. This guy shows up. My student, who's a green ball under me, Eric, uh, he's a good kid. Walks up to me and goes, bro, that guy you saw in a tattoo shop and he messed up my tattoo, claiming that he was a tattoo artist. So I'm already like, holy shit, dude, this guy's a fake. This guy's a professional liar, you know? 
On top of that, he has tattoos on his face that are very uh, degrading. He had SS bolts tattooed right here. Mm -hmm. uh, SS bolts are from Germany, you know, the, yeah. the Nazis. So I'm not going to judge nobody. You know, we do stupid stuff when we're, when we're young, you know. And I, I didn't judge him on that, you know, even though I have black students in my academy. You know, and they, they took a little offense to it, but I told them we, we got to forgive, you know. We, we, we don't know what this guy's whole life story. Of course. So anyways, I talked to my student. He's like, yo, he messed up my tattoo. I had to get two uh, uh, redos on my tattoo. Like he had to go to another tattoo shop and they had to fix it. And he still showed me the outlining. And as for me, I, I have a lot of tattoos. So I was like, man, that's a horrible job. Like the outlining is bad. He goes, yeah, man. And he charged me 600 bucks. So on top of that, this kicks in. I'm like, all right, this is getting deeper and deeper. So my blue belt from Brazil is talking with the guy, um, the black belt from Macacos, the, the real legit mm -hmm. one. And he's sending him text messages, and the guy's like, send me a picture of him. So what my blue belt does is he takes a picture of my students with the guy in the background. And he sends it to the guy, and the guy goes, bro, I've never heard of this guy. You know, this guy doesn't even look like uh, the criteria for Macaco's black belts, you know. Because Macaco's black belts, I heard, are very prestigious. I've never met one in my life, you mm -hmm. know. So, um, But I hear that they go through hell to get their black belts. It's just like how everybody who has a legit instructor goes through hell to get a black belt. You have to put in your time, you know. So I'm like, oh, man, this guy's a fake, dude. So I don't know when to call him out. Like, it's like playing double dutch. I was like, do I go in now? Do I call him out? What do I do? You know, I was I was really nervous, you know, because I don't, I don't want confrontation in my gym. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the guy starts doing the warm-up. I'm like, all right, guys, standard warm-up. Let's go in guard, and let's do 20 armbar drills, back-to-back, -back, you know, the switching armbar yep. drills. So uh, he, he tells my student, oh, you go first. I'm like, no, 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 no. You go first. You're the black belt. You, show him how it's done. Mm -hmm. Bro, the guy sits, like, on his knees, like, looking at me blank. I'm like, bro, close guard. Arm bars. He doesn't know. So I'm like, lay on your back. Put him in your clothes guard. He's like, what? That's when I lost it. That's when the video starts where you see me okay. walk up to him and I'm like, bro, you're not a legit black belt. Any old school black belt knows clothes guard. Of course. Yeah. We all know clothes. It's just like shrimping. If I tell you to shrimp right now, you're going to shrimp. You know how to do it. If I tell you what this clothes guard look like, you're going to give me a perfect analysis of what clothes guard looks like. Of course. If you're a black belt from the old school, closed guard was the best the best position back in the days. So right. there's no excuse. So man, like I, I already was like I had enough, you know, and the, the fundamental class prior, the guy didn't even know how to how to get to mount. Like he just threw his leg over and went to mount. I was like, dude, you gotta slide the mount, you know, like it's it's not mm -hmm. hard, you know. So yeah, that's when the video takes place, and then we we, we see the video obviously, and and we see what happened. Uh, what happened to the guy? Has he come back? Has he contacted you? Uh, what's uh, up with him? Um, like first of all, the the way that I reacted, I know a lot of people are saying that as a black boy, I should have kept my cool. Um, uh, I shouldn't have him dropped so many cuss words. People thought kids were in the gym. There was no kids in the gym. I made sure of that. Uh, it was just my students, and I kept my students there to keep me in check. You know, because if my students weren't there, it probably would ended up different. I don't know. You know, I can't I can't really I was I was so emotional at the moment, you know, like I wasn't calm, you know, because eventually, bro, you work so hard for something your whole life. You know, like before I started jujitsu, I was the fat kid that got picked on, you know. So to see these guys try to try to get the recognition that took me a lot of sacrificing to get, you know, relationships, my body, you know, friendships, all that. Just to get this one simple bliss of getting the black belt tied around my waist, and then this guy wants to come in and wear it like it's all fine and dandy, you know, that don't fly with me. I'm sorry, dude. You know, I'll, I'll put up with a lot of a lot of shit, but I won't put up with that, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, when the guy was there, you know, and I called him out. Yeah, I felt bad because I was cussing and 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 a lot. But man, if you look at the old school days where you would fake, they yeah. bro, they would run. One of the blue belts would run, lock the door, and straight up, yo, you and the instructor are going to fight, and the instructor stops beating you up until he feels it's adequate enough to stop. I don't want to do that, you know. I want to show people that I can handle myself without – I can prove my point without using knees or using knees or, or being violent. You know, yeah, I got it in his face a little bit. I got emotional, 
big deal. You know, you see worse on the streets of Miami right. here, dude. Of course. You know, but, but you didn't physically hurt him, or no, 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 yeah. no. If he would have touched me, then he would have got a free jujitsu lesson for yeah. sure. But I didn't touch him. You know, I I bounce at nightclubs. I deal with people like this all the time. So, man, the only time that I've had to put hands on somebody at the nightclub is when they touch me. Of course. I'm defending myself. But I'm not going to go out there and look for look for a fight, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I don't like looking for trouble. If trouble comes find, finds me, I'll try to walk away. But if the, the time comes where I need to defend myself, I am ready, you know. Um, the guy's just lucky that I that I uh, that I just did what I did. I screamed at him. Yeah, you, I dropped a lot of F-bombs. I'm sorry. I'm from Miami, you know. My house, we cuss a lot, you know, like my dad's from New York, you know. So when I get my emotions wary, I start cussing, you know. And and I apologize for, for the foul language on the video. The reason I posted the video, though, is because what happens if this guy wants to open up a gym? Or he wants to teach police officers uh, self-defense techniques and then he's teaching them crap or, or whatever, dude. You know, mm-hmm. fake people have to be put out, you know. And you have to let the other people realize who's fake and who's not. You know, that's that's why the integrity of the sport is going down a little bit because people are letting this slide by. People are selling belts. Yeah. You know, giving away jiu-jitsu belts for, for money, you know, and, and, and it sucks, bro, because where I came from, you earn your money. You get you earn your belt from getting your ass beat so many times, bro. I remember my first jiu-jitsu class. I got my ass kicked by a girl, bro. I remember going home and crying because the girl beat me up so bad. She made me like her, you know, like I was like her little her little dog on a leash, bro. She could Tap me out any time, you know, and that's what shows the purity of the sport. You know, yeah. you have to you have to learn through your ass whoopings, you know, and the guy the guy felt bad. I could tell he felt bad. I felt bad that I was screaming at him, but mm-hmm. my point had to be across so that way he never does this again because he's lucky he had me where I know how to control myself and not throw anything. Where he gets an old school Carlson Gracie guy that's gonna lock the door and beat the shit out of him, of course, you know, and then he's gonna have a hospital bill. So uh, have you heard from this guy? Do you know what he's up to? Has he tried to contact oh. you? Because at the end of the video, and that's something like from reading the comments on YouTube and on Facebook, that's something people gave you props for. You said, uh, you know, whenever you're ready, you can come back to the academy, but you're coming back with a white belt. You didn't tell him to get out, to never come back. No, you, you left the door open for him to come back. Uh, has he reached out to you uh, from from that point or you haven't heard of him? Um, from what I heard, I, I, I talked to the owner of Black House, who, who's a great guy. Um, he said that that he talked to him. And the guy said he's willing to come back with his white belt. I'm not. If I could change this guy's life so he could better himself through jujitsu, I will do my damn well best to help him. You know, people deserve second chances. People fuck up. It happens. You know, the way that he that maybe this video will prove to him that you don't do that. Maybe it's a lesson. You know, and if I taught him a lesson and he could come back and better himself through jujitsu, that'd be great. Maybe one day I'll be promoting him to black belt. He'll be a legit black belt. But you know, he had to he had to have that done to him. The reason I posted it is so he doesn't go to other gyms claiming he's a black belt. You know, I it's just like stolen valor. You see all these guys wearing the military uniform, going out there to get discounts, but they don't put their lives on the line like all these military guys do. You know, I'm not saying jujitsu is as as like uh, prestigious as as being in the military, but you know, we right. we help people. You know, like. My students come for me for advice. I try to help them. If I could be a light in somebody's day, then then I've done my job. You know, I could have gone into to music or the family business. You know, but I stuck doing jujitsu and I worked hard for it. And I'm not gonna let nobody water down my sport that I love so much and my art. So I told the guy to come back. He said he was gonna come back with a white belt. I will welcome him as my white belt, but he better not pull that shit again because mm-hmm. man, I, I give second chances, but I don't give a third. You know, he's welcome at my academy. You know, I hope I hope he learned his lesson, you know. And I, I'm not going to, like, be mean to the guy, you know. I, I was already mean enough in the video. You know, I'm going to welcome him back and I'm going to teach him jiu-jitsu if he's willing to learn, you know. Mm-hmm. So. And uh, how how has this uh, – did you expect this video to blow up the way it did? Because, no. I mean, it's it's been everywhere. And how has been the feedback that you've received uh, from most people? Um, no, I didn't expect it to go viral. People are saying that that it's fake. It's not fake. Uh, if anybody knows me for who I am, they know I don't I don't post shit that's fake. You know that I just stay I stay to myself. You know, mm-hmm. um, I don't brag about my accomplishments in jiu-jitsu, You know, the only time that I post about me winning tournaments is for my sponsors. You know, mm-hmm. you know, just to give them the shout-outs for always helping me. 
But if if I didn't have a sponsor, I wouldn't be posting, hey, I won this tournament and stuff like that. I, I like keeping it myself. I like just training jiu-jitsu and living jiu-jitsu. You know, it's the only thing that I that I really cared about the most in my life, you know. So um, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback. I've been getting a lot of ne- – uh, not a lot of negative, but some negative, even from uh, – especially from other black belts and stuff, which I'm super surprised. But you know what? Everybody's entitled to their opinion and – if any of the opinions can make me into a better jiu-jitsu fighter and instructor, I will take them. You know, uh, criticism, whether good or bad, is always good for you because it'll make you it'll make you shine better. So I've been getting a lot of positive messages. My Facebook friends have overmaxed already. I can't add no more people. Um, but the only reason I posted is because a bunch of my friends who are black belts that are legit black belts were like, "Yo, you got to show people that there's people like this trying to be us." Mm-hmm. you know and if 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 i just post a status and be like hey oh i call the fake black belt oh okay only my friends are gonna know and then they're not gonna have a face to the fake black belt mm-hmm. you know so this guy could just leave and go to another academy with the belt his belt's still hanging at my academy on the cage i'm not giving it back to him i'll give i'll, I'll swap him the white belt for the black belt mm-hmm. he's not getting that back you know yeah, and, and i think that's uh very possible uh especially thinking that you know he lied about being a, a professional tattoo artist and messing up your friend's tattoo i mean it's it's possible he might just go anywhere else and and, and pull off the same thing yeah and and you know what man I, th- like i said thank god it happened at my gym where no hands were put on him i had my students around me you know um Maybe he learned his lesson because I I pray I pray for him that he doesn't go to another gym pulling this shit because if he goes into the wrong gym I don't know if he's gonna walk out being normal functioning like he is now you know like people are also saying oh he has a mental disability no he doesn't the guy the guy I I've had I have students that are autistic that have mental problems this guy was fully aware he's just a pathological liar you know there's people that are like that they like to lie. But don't walk into the lion's den saying you're a lion when you're really a sheep. You know, bro, you could get killed for that, especially here. You know, um, that's like me walking into like a like a gang place and saying I'm a Latin king, bro. I'm going to get shot up. You know, it's, you don't do stuff like that, man. Right. You know, just be real. Be honest, you know. But the positive messages I've been getting have been phenomenal, dude. Like people are messaging me, telling me thank you. You know, way to keep the sport clean. The owner of Show You Roll sent me a message. I was like, whoa, the owner of Show You Roll sending me a message? You know, I have black belts hitting me up saying, hey, thanks, Ruben, for, for being a legit black belt. You know, and then I have the negative messages as well. You know, like I handled it wrong. You know, mm-hmm. everybody's entitled to what they want to think. You know, at the end of the day, I'm going to keep being me. I'm going to do me. I'm not going to change for nobody. The only thing that I want to do is help people positively through jiu-jitsu you know it changed my life right hopefully i could change somebody else's life i'm not in it for the money if i was in it for the money i would have been gone wait years ago you know uh i did fight mma once i did an amateur mma fight one time you know but jiu-jitsu is where my heart's at you know and i like jiu-jitsu i met some of the best friends that i have i met you through jiu-jitsu you know like this conversation wouldn't be possible because of jiu-jitsu so Everything I owe to jiu-jitsu, so this was the least I could do to keep the art respectable, you know? You see so many guys walking around saying they're karate black belts, you know? Like, who who takes credibility for being a karate black belt? If a guy walks up to you and he's like, yo, I'm a karate black belt, you're going to be like, huh, right. okay? You know, because mm-hmm. there's so many. But mm-hmm. if you walk up, I'm a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Oh, this guy That's put different. in time. Yeah. This, guy's, this guy has legitimacy, you know? This guy's legit. He put in work. That's why I'm I'm seeing like all these Gracie University videos and stuff, man. It's sad, bro. You know, like you can get your blue belt without rolling. Mm-hmm. How how sad is that, man? You yeah, know, that is a crazy world we live in. But uh, so you know, at the end of the day, do you regret your decision? Obviously, uh, you posted on Instagram that you weren't really proud of the way you 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 handled it. But do do you regret what what happened, or are you glad this this sort of happened and you got the chance to bring it up to you know the light? Um. I don't regret anything because it's already happening. I can't go back in time and fix it. Do I feel a little upset with myself with the way that I acted? Yeah, but you know, it, it, everybody told me that they could see the the passion of how much I care about jujitsu. You know, so I'm getting more positive feedback from it, and people are are sending me messages like, "Yo, you injured your body so much to get to where you're at now," and they're sending me what they injured just to get to purple belt. You know. Mm-hmm. We sacrifice so much, bro, and nobody even notices it. You know, they just 
when they see you winning tournaments, they're like, oh, this guy's got to make. Yeah, they don't see the the hours you put in the gym, the the heartbreaks you go through of like, bro, you know, like how many girlfriends I had to break up with because of jujitsu. They're like, either me or jujitsu. I'm like, all right, peace. I'm out. <laughs> you know, like I I dropped out of college because it interfered with my jujitsu schedule. You know, like come on, man. I I I gave away a career to pursue jujitsu. You know, mm-hmm. I sacrificed so much, dude, and. And people don't see that. They just think, oh, this guy's going off. He's being a bully. He's just a black belt picking on another guy who says he's a black belt. No, man. No, man. It's all 100% from the heart, dude. You know, and and people got to know that you got to be legit now. You know, now hopefully this makes a statement. Don't come into another gym claiming you're something you're not, you know. Of course. So. Well, all right. I think this uh, this video, uh, you know, summarizes a, a, a lot. And I think uh, a lot of people that have questions about the video, uh, whether it's fake and, you know, the background story behind it, I think this answers a lot of their questions. So thank you, Ruben. And uh, you guys can follow me and Danny Segura TV on Instagram and Twitter. And I guess you can't send Ruben any more uh, Facebook friend requests, but you can find him on Twitter and Instagram at RubenBJJ04. So, Ruben, uh, thank you so much for your time. And, and you know, uh, as a jiu-jitsu partic- practitioner, I want to thank you for exposing, uh, uh, you know, a fake uh, black belt and, and bringing up the truth. Thank you, bro. I appreciate everything.